अनेक शुनिया अनेक पविया अनेक शुनिया अनेक पविया तुम्हाके भालो बेशे ची तुम्हाके भालो बेशे ची आकाश पाताल गिरी कंदरे गुरी आकाश पाताल गिरी कंदरे गुरी रातनोए की भेजी रातनोए की भेजी तुम्हाके भालो बेशी तुम्हाके भालो बेशी अनेक शुनिया अनेक पविया अनेक शुनिया अनेक पविया तुम्हाके भालो बेशी तुम्हाके भालो बेशी जानी भालो बाशा नहीं माने जोगी भालो बेशी आमी नहीं चाही मोगी जानी भालो बाशा नहीं माने जोगी भालो बेशी आमी नहीं चाही मोगी भालो बाशी आनों दो पावरो लगी आमी भालो बाशी आनों दो पावरो Ekotai shall genichi Ekotai shall genichi Tomaki, hallo beshechi Tomaki, hallo beshechi Onek shunia, Tomaki, hallo beshechi तुम्हाके भालो बेशेची तबो काज करे जबो चौथा शक्ती वने रेगी शॉप शेरा पोरा बाती तबो काज करे जबो चौथा शक्ती वने रेगी शॉप शेरा पोरा बाती भालो बाशी आनंद देवरो लगी आमी भालो बाशी आनंद दो देवरो लगी एक होताई शीश पूछे ची एक होताई शीश पूछे ची तो माँ के भालो बेशे ची तो माँ के भालो बेशे ची अनेक शुनिया अनेक पाविया अनेक शुनिया अनेक पाविया तुम्हाके भालो बेशी ची तुम्हाके भालो बेशी ची आकाश पाताल गिरी कंदरे गुरी आकाश पाताल गिरी कंदरे गुरी रात नौए की भेजी रात नौए की भेजी तुम्हाके भालो बेशी ची तो माँ की भालो बेशी ची अनेक शुनिया अनेक पाविया अनेक शुनिया अनेक पाविया तो माँ की भालो बेशी ची तो माँ की भालो बेशी ची नमस्कार अनेक शुनिया अनेक भाविया तुम्हारे घे भालो बेशे ची आकाश पाताल गिरे खंडोरे घुरे रत्नो एकी पहे ची Listening to many, giving thought to many, I have loved only thee. Rowing hell, rowing heaven, hell, mountain and cavern, I found just one gem. जानी भालो बाशा ना ही माने चुकती, भालो बेशे आमी ना ही चाही मुकती. भालो बाशी आनंद पावरो लगी आमी भालो बाशी आनंद पावरो लगी ये खोताई शार जेनची I know that love does not heed any logic having loved I crave no liberation I love on account of getting bliss precisely this is the gist of all my knowledge 
थब खाज खोर जब जथा शक्ति मन रेखे सब सर भर भक्ति भलोबासी आनंद देवर लागी भलोबासी आनंद देवर लागी एक कथा शेष बुझे योर वर्क आल खीबन डुईंग आस मच एस आई कैन अब अब ऑल एल्स रिमेम्बरिंग दुप्रीम डिवोशन आई लव फर देक अफ गिविंग ब्लिस precisely this is my final realization this beautiful song is describing two types of very high pure devotional states called raguna raganuga bhakti and ragatmika bhakti bhakti it means it is the sanskrit word for devotion and so devotion is love for the supreme consciousness so the raganuga bhakti is expressed by the feeling that i want to enjoy bliss so there is no materialistic feeling in the mind only the feeling that i want to enjoy the presence of that supreme bliss of that supreme consciousness in my meditation and in my life i do not long for any liberation i just want to enjoy the bliss so Uh, there is one poet. Uh, he described this as "Chine hote China remon, chine kede bhalobashi." I know I do not wish to be the sugar. I wish to taste the sugar. So this state is like just want to enjoy that blissful feeling. Does not want to merge with the supreme consciousness, but just want to enjoy the presence. And the last and final stage. is where the devotee has a full surrender is ready to do anything and everything for that supreme consciousness and wants to give bliss to that supreme consciousness so in that state there is hardly any ego left there is hardly any differentiation between the devotee and the lord or the supreme consciousness there is hardly any difference you know whatever is the will of that supreme consciousness I want to do that thing. And um <clears throat> so this type of very high devotion it can develop when we ideate in our meditation on the supreme consciousness. It's important that the meditation, the goal of the meditation should be that supreme consciousness. As you think so you become. And if the meditation practices are systematic and done regularly gradually this type of high devotion starts to develop in the mind uh <clears throat> we have to practice regularly and the meditation should be of proper quality now we are here thinking of the supreme consciousness as the nucleus and and the devotees and the, all the living beings and non living beings are revolving around that supreme consciousness and so they can either go forward towards that supreme consciousness or they could go away from that supreme consciousness so the movement towards the supreme consciousness is the vidya maya it is dom- dominated by the force of the vidya maya and the uh, <coughs> avidya maya is the centri fugal force which is driving you away from the supreme consciousness and so materialistic uh, goals ma- materialistic goals are important in our life but they should not be our final goal the final goal has to be clear and then we may have some tasks to do in the world we may have certain things that we need to accomplish and take care of our families and our loved ones but the final goal has to be clear and so we do our work with the feeling that we are serving the supreme through our actions we want to please the supreme with every smile every thought every action that we take is just to give pleasure to the infinite consciousness there is also another very good uh tips that i want to share with you which is that when you do the meditation try to feel that the meditation is like an appointment it is not that just you want to enjoy peace and everything but you are trying to The, the supreme consciousness is advancing towards you and you are also t- advancing to his to it or him or whatever gender you assign to it 
So you are trying to come close to that infinite in every single meditation that you do. And um, so we just need to keep on doing the meditation. Babanam Kevanam has already that very good ideation of that infinite consciousness. And so by singing that Babanam Kevanam or doing meditation, uh, you will be moving in that right direction and slowly, slowly developing more and more high forms of devotion. And also all the personal lessons which are available one-on-one, -on -one, those lessons are also designed to awaken your devotional feelings. So we should try to move towards that final surrender where there's hardly any differentiation between us and that Supreme Consciousness, between us and that infinite bliss. And we will all enjoy a very blissful life and we'll be able to do a lot of service to the world around us and bring, bring a lot of love and happiness to everyone that comes to our contact.